Hey everyone. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about worship. It's something that seems simple, but it's not always uh, simple. A lot of people are very sensitive about it. You might go to church, you might not. But worship takes us to the presence of God, regardless of who you're at. It transforms us into not just normal people anymore, but warriors. When I hear people, uh, I heard a song, it's called Giants by uh, Double Lords. It's like a worship rant. It's probably going to be the title, Worship Rant. And he says, bring the giants down with your praise. And I was like, oh my goodness. I, like David no, praised God through the stone and it fell. And, and that was the purpose of the whole album. A real altar call. To have an altar call in your car, to have an altar call at school. Sometimes you just need an altar call. And it's gonna have a praise break in it. It's gonna have a couple worship songs in it. It's gonna, one song's gonna have a hip hop beat. And you're like, oh, I don't listen to this guy. No, and you're like, <laughs> it's gonna be real hot. And I hope it turns out very good. I'm inviting a couple people to like play with me. I I I, I kind of want to go solo the whole way. You know, vocals, instruments, production, marketing. And I was like, whoa, I know I can save a lot of money, but I need I need money to make money to make more money. And I got my friend Jordan coming up. He's like, can I feature on the album? I was like, Jordan, you've been there since the beginning. And I, he's one of my friends, best friends. And as a millennial, you can't say best friend unless you're not, unless you're, I don't know. She's my BFF. No, 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 no. I got a really good friend. He's a sports marketing major. He worked for the Oakland Raiders, the Sharks. This is an, an endorsement to him, but he's a pretty awesome guy. Then he now is getting married. I'm like, what? This is crazy. Like soon there's going to be little Jordans running around. <laughs> Ace kids. And hopefully that happens. And along the way, I want to impact a lot of people with the music. Um, there's a song that is in the works. It's called One Day. The lyrics are very simple. You only have one day to say yes. This could be anything. It could be one day to advancing your career. It could be one day to serving God. It could be yes to ministry. It could be yes to a lot of different areas. And... And... Before we can get to the yes, we have to go back to worship. And a lot of people go Sunday, they'll sing songs, they'll hear the preacher, and then they leave. And if I ask them, what do you worship? I've, had, I've asked people, do you worship while you pray? And they're like, what? Like it was some phenomenon of, I don't know, adding pickles to a burger. It's so normal, but they it changed. And worship, comprises of some vocals, some music, maybe just some vocals, maybe a hum, a little bit of beat. And it's gonna change the atmosphere because your mind no longer thinks about what you're gonna say or do. It is present. Yep. So, um, that's just a little introduction to the album, to a little bit of worship, because I want to set the atmosphere straight. And if you never watch this video, at least I know what I want to process to go through it. Because the hardest part is, I'm going to come out as a performer. I'm not a performer, I'm a worshiper. And the difference is, performers perform, they expect something for what they do. Worshippers worship because they love God. They want other people to know what they feel. And it's all about God. It's all about his actions, his marvelous power. He trembled. The mountains tremble at the presence of God. And, and we'll be in church and we're like, I ain't gonna change. Nuh-uh. Whoa. Let me tell you something. When God 
You can't mock God. You can mock me. You can mock your pastor. You can mock anyone. You can't mock the king of kings. Honestly. And he's so good. He's love. He's merciful. He's a consuming fire. He's everything. So, um, a little bit of preaching to it. Because worship is very powerful. You pick, if you read the Bible, or if you don't, Google or search or open the Bible and turn to Psalm 150. It's the last Psalm. It's in the middle of the Bible. All you got to do is open it. Middle. It's going to be Psalms. I'm not joking. It's in the middle for a reason. Because our worship is the center of our lives. And Jesus is the center of the church. So the center of it all is our worship to God. If you're a preacher and you're like, hey, that's not allowed. Hey, forgive me. I, I had to say it. And I'm going to show you. This, it's a little thick. This is the Bible. I'm going to drop it straight down the middle. Hopefully I'm. Psalm 73. I'm not joking. And then you turn to 100. And the first line is, Praise ye the Lord. The last line, Praise ye the Lord. In English, Roger, praise the Lord. You praise the Lord. Ye is referring to multiple people. It's referring to a lot of people. Worship. Praise the Lord. Praise is the entrance to worship. Worship is the entrance to the presence of God. Theologically, they had to praise them in the court. They started worshiping before the current then they were in the Holy Ghost in the tabernacle for the church. That's why people die in the tabernacle. If you don't know what the tabernacle is, excuse me. But uh, we enter into these gates with thanksgiving. And we're entering into thanksgiving. And it was based, it, I'm not saying they're connected, but they, they correlate. We're thankful for family, for life. We live in, I live in the United States. We are extremely blessed beyond some measure. And we got to be thankful to God too. I'm, it's a long video, but I hope you were blessed by it. My album is Real Altar Call. It should come out November 1st, 2019. If the Lord permits us to live to that point. And I want you to go buy it. Support me. Um, if you know me personally, I might give you a signed copy. I don't know. We'll see. Have a great day. Have God bless.